I'll be back. Okay, thank you. The internet dude came. It's nine o'clock. My appointment was scheduled for 11, so at 8.30 in the morning when I got the call, straight out of my sleep, I was very confused. It was like my alarm clock this morning. I was like, hello? But that's actually good. I'm, I'm glad that it got me up earlier. I'm whispering as if he's still in here, but he's gone. I did ideally want them to come and be done with early so it doesn't like stop me in the middle of the day. Hi guys, welcome to Vlogmas <laughs> Day 22. <laughs> from the craziest dream. It was so vivid. I was in Paris and Jill and I went to Paris together and I met all these hot Parisian men and I was making out with everybody. <laughs> It was such a good dream. They were so hot. Like there was one guy that he gave me a piggyback ride and we were running around the city being so romantic and cute. And then there was this other guy who was the same guy from Emily in Paris, like the hot guy, the hot neighbor. So hot. So I was just making out with all these amazingly hot men in Paris. And then the internet guy woke me up. What a bummer. No, it's fine. I'm very glad this is gonna get taken care of nice and early this morning, like before 10 a.m. But it is dark out there today and I have to shoot all of my Imagine Drop. I definitely should have done this many, many days before this, but as I do, I tend to leave things the last minute. And since the drop is tomorrow, which for you guys, it was yesterday, this is my last day to do it. So I have to do it today. We'll have to make do with the lighting and just edit it it brighter yeah so i figured well he's here i'm just gonna do some reading i was reading last night too and i, I really want to prioritize reading more i want to make my mantra but i don't know when it's coming back maybe we can make it we can make it let's see what matcha day 22 looks like 22 here you are what do we have oh what is this what is it? little alligators i don't really feel like a gummy candy right now honestly also i'm just remembering now that i dropped the camera yesterday and i don't know what the audio sounds like i really hope it's okay this vlog will be the whole vlog with this new audio so maybe if it's all the same it doesn't sound bad i don't know oh god how annoying all right i'm just gonna hold off on the caffeine yeah i'm gonna hold off until he leaves because i'm gonna make a coffee but it's gonna smell of the place and smell really good and i feel bad i don't want to like make him smell it and not give him one so I will hold off and then I will let you guys know when I am making that coffee <laughs> Somebody DM'd me saying, if you turn them all around, it looks like a Christmas tree. Doesn't look a whole lot like a Christmas tree to me, <laughs> but that's okay. You know what? At least now it's easier to find the ones that I have left. I should have done that all along. Like that would have been the right move. But now it's very apparent. We only have two left. That's crazy. Okay, so I was looking at what I have to do today. It's also 10.30 now. I let my coffee get cold and so I just warmed it up in the microwave. But I decided I'm gonna start shooting at 11 and I was looking over what I have to shoot and it's actually not as lengthy as I thought it was gonna be, which I'm really happy about. So it shouldn't be so bad, but I'm gonna start at 11. So I'm starting to get myself a little bit more together. And then I'm hoping that I can be done by three. That would be really nice. And then have a chill afternoon. I also did order a microphone. I've never used a microphone and with any of my vlog cameras. Like I've always just used the regular mic in the camera. And I know a lot of YouTubers do use microphones. So maybe in theory, me fucking up the, the internal microphone ended up being a good thing. Cause now it's forcing me to have to get a mic and then maybe it's going to be even better than it's ever been. Silver linings. We'll see. It arrives tomorrow. So we'll see how it sounds. We'll all test it out together. And there's a backup one that I can order if the one tomorrow sucks. So we have options here. And because we have options, I am now relaxed about it. We're just gonna have to deal with it for this vlog. And I don't think it's that bad. Like it's not great, obviously. At least in my opinion, maybe you guys think it's good. And then in that case, I don't have to do anything. Well, I probably will anyways. It kind of bothers me to edit it. But I'm going to start doing my makeup, doing my hair. The curls from last night didn't really stick as we can see, but my hair isn't as crimpy as it was before I curled it yesterday. So it'll be easier. I'm just gonna do a few little pieces throughout. But I'm going to start doing my face, drink my coffee, and not let it get cold again. And yeah, I'm feeling good today. Today feels good. So I was really on my shit this morning, getting things done. And then for some reason, I got my vlog up and procrastinated for the next hour. And now it's almost one in the afternoon. That is not going to my plan. So now I have to actually do my makeup. You know what? I realized what happened. I was going to do my makeup right after the last clip. And my mom called me and then I was distracted. And then I didn't get back to it. But it is one and I realized I'm hungry. So I'm going to have one of my built bars. I'm very excited about it. So I'm going to try the cookies and cream today. I have so many 
flavors to try. This one has 130 calories, 17 grams of protein, only four grams of sugar, all the good stuff. So they recently reformulated the bars and they are so good guys. The texture, the taste. Well, let me just try this one. Cheers. I'm straight up shook right now. It's just a gooey chocolate bar. How is this good for me? I don't know. Oh my God. Huge thank you to Built Bar for sending me legitimately the best protein bars I've ever tried in my entire life. Like that's just, that's it. They gave me a link to give to you guys. And with that link, you get 20% off your order. I, I honestly think cookies and cream might be my favorite so far. Like this is straight up a chocolate bar. I'm very happy to be eating this right now. Figured I would try to multitask and eat while I get myself ready. So I'm gonna try and shoot all this as quick as possible so that I can get into editing them and then get them on the website and do all the descriptions and all that fun stuff. And then I think for this vlog, we'll do a little Q&A. I'm actually really amazed that I've made it this far into vlogmas without doing a single Q&A. Usually I have to get a few out there. This is the first, day 22. <laughs> like, that's a vlogmas first. need to put on a little lip balm and then we're done. I'm gonna finish eating this and I'm going to procrastinate. I will check in with you guys when I'm done shooting. And this is what my apartment looks like when I shoot. So it's a disaster. I have to move my mirror back over there. I have to move this back into the corner. I gotta move the couch. <sighs> but I did it. It is still light outside. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great actually. Also I decided we're gonna do the Q&A tomorrow. Look at us just getting through it without the Q&As. Like I'm so proud of myself because we're gonna do a like winter clothing haul. I have a couple of boxes and some other unknown ones that are full of like winter clothes. And I figured I would just do a little haul today. So I'm gonna move all of this stuff out of the way and we will deal with it later. Okay, I have to move all this stuff, hold on. <sighs> okay, so as you can see, the boxes have been piling up a little bit. A couple of these, like this one is a gift, so I'm not gonna open that on camera. This actually, I'm also not opening on camera. Some of these will not be opened on camera, but some of them will. So you'll see the ones that we do and you won't know what you're missing for the others. We'll start with this Amazon box. What would this be? I know what this is. I was inspired to organize all my spices. I saw it on Pinterest and it just looked so good. And I've seen like nice organized spices for a while on Pinterest, but I just didn't care. And then I decided one day, you know what? I think I do care. I ordered all of these on Amazon and I also ordered separately a pack of labels that look very aesthetic. This is by no means a necessary purchase at all, but you know what? It makes me happy. So here we are. from Porsche. Oh my goodness. What is inside? <laughs> oh my God. It's a little Tycon. That is really cute. I'm probably going to give this to my dad because he will put it on his desk. I think he has one like this of a 911, I think. So he'll, he's building a Porsche collection, a little mini Porsche collection. Oh my God. That is so cute. Thank you, Porsche. My dad is going to literally love this. That is so cool. A special thank you. We look forward to collaborating more in the future. That is so cool. Thank you so much, Porsche Canada. It is truly an honor. I'm not even gonna tell my dad that I got this. I'm just gonna wrap it up with the gift that I bought him. It'll just be a special little on the side. Then we got uh, this guy. This is from my management. We have something from Sugarfina. Next year, we'll continue to bring its own challenges, but we know more than ever that together we can accomplish anything. Oh, happy holidays from your family and select. That's such a nice little note. And there's candy. Look how beautiful this box is. This is the cutest little holiday gift ever. We're running out of battery. Hold on. We have Mary Berries and Spiked Eggnog Berries. I will try these once I finish this haul and once I finish making more of a mess in here. Okay, the last two boxes here are full of clothing, like winter clothes, and I am so excited. So I have one box from Storettes and one box from Revolve. Which to open first? Let's do Storettes. Ooh, it's a good day, guys. I don't know, I woke up in a good mood. You know what, it must have been a dream. I was in Paris all night, you know, with hot guys. How do you how do you wake up in a bad mood after that? Okay, first thing we got is this cute little cropped turtleneck. We got a scarf, very my vibe, like just the neutral colors. I love it. Oh, my mom is gonna love this one too. Next, we have a very 
big oversized cozy cardigan. Very soft, very chunky. I will link all of the storettes and all of the revolve in the description. Anyways, we have a cropped little hoodie. It's like a teddy material. I'm obsessed. Oh man, my closet, I don't have any more hangers. Like I'm, it's full. I'm gonna have to bring some stuff to my parents' house. Okay, last but not least, we have a coat. Dun, 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 dun. Freaking cute. I can't really, it's very long. It's gonna keep me nice and warm, layered. I really didn't want to get a coat like this, so I'm very happy to have it. So many cute things. I'm so grateful that I get to, you know, work with stores that gift me all this clothing. Like I get to wear just such incredible clothes and always new stuff to wear. It's I'm I'm very, very grateful for it. So a huge thank you to Storettes for all of these amazing winter goodies. I'm so excited to wear them all. And last but not least, we have Revolve. I, but I've lost the knife. There it is. Oh, I got a similar coat to this one. Okay, so there's a lot of, oh wow. Ooh, I think this is gonna be my New Year's dress. This is the prettiest dress ever. Wow, it is so pretty. I'm gonna have to try this on while I have makeup on. This is so nice, stunning. Whew. Okay, next up we have this really pretty top. It's like a silky one shoulder. I thought it was really pretty, maybe for like Christmas Eve or Christmas. Not like we're really doing anything. You know, any excuse to dress up these days, I will take. Of course I had to get some kind of cozy sweater. Not like I need any more, honestly, but I couldn't help myself. This one says everything is the best. And I just felt like I needed to be wearing that. Everything is the best. I just needed it. I needed it. Oh, here's another dress. Here she is. So there's like a cutout here with sequins, which is cool. So it potentially could look really nice. We will see. I will try this one on as well. I wanted to order a few different dresses for New Year's. It will literally just be at my parents' house. But as I said, any excuse to dress up. Just got a classic simple little bodysuit and another bodysuit. But this one is kind of cool. There's like this cutout here. It looks cool on the model, so... So here's, oh my god, it looks so similar. Like potentially the same manufacturer and then they just cropped it. Wow, okay, so here's the coat from Revolve. Here's the coat from Storettes. Wow, you know what? I think it is the same manufacturer because it's exactly the same. I mean, that's kind of crazy. And the last thing, yes, another coat. The coat closet also has reached its max capacity. Oh, this is so nice though. It's super thick too. It's gonna keep me very warm. See, the one thing about being back somewhere that has seasons is that you have the excuse to buy for those different seasons, you know? Like you have to have a whole different winter wardrobe than your summer wardrobe. Like you can't have the same. Wow, this is nice. This is like a nice coat. Huge thank you to Revolve as always. I gotta be honest though, I'm a little overwhelmed. There is stuff everywhere. There's all my imagined stuff that I need to put away. That was all this and I don't have the hangers. I don't know. We'll see when I get around to this. I'm gonna start editing this vlog just to get a, a little head start here. Yeah, wow, this was a good haul. Okay, it is 4.45. I've been doing some work, but now I'm going to edit all the photos for the drop tomorrow, and I'll show you what this looks like, kind of. So I'm importing all of the photos into Lightroom right now, and like, these are the ones that I liked out of all the ones that I took. This is 230 photos. So I have to go through all of these and edit them, and then the ones that I like the best will end up on the website, but there's a lot of photos. It's not like this is super hard, but it is very very time consuming. Like, I don't think people realize how honestly time consuming it is. So I'm importing them on my phone into Lightroom and then my Lightroom connects to my Lightroom on my computer and that's where I edit the photos. And then from there, I will go and add all of the photos into all of the items for the drop. And then I have to also edit like a little Instagram story for the Imagine Yours Instagram, showing everything that will be dropping for tomorrow. And that will be the last thing that I do because I need to get the website done first. It's gonna be a bit of a night as I knew this morning. I knew this was gonna be like my last very long day of the year. So I will definitely have a glass of wine in maybe like an hour just because I will likely be working on this for the next two to three. So yeah, that is what I'm doing now. I will speak to you guys when I'm getting that lovely glass of wine. Okay, we are gonna open up a brand new bottle. Ooh, you're a little smudgy. We have the Gallo family, Gallo family, white Zinfandel. White Zinfandel, but it's pink. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Is that not the prettiest looking wine? Cheers. Mmm, it's really tasty. <sighs> okay, <laughs> that's good. That's good. Do more work. I have not cleaned. Um, likely I will do it tomorrow because I just don't have the time. And I'm not gonna do it like right before bed. No way. <laughs> not for me. 8 p.m. Still working on the one glass. And I'm pretty damn hungry and I need something fast. I'm not done working, but I need to stop for food. I was gonna like make this curry thing from scratch, but I, I am too hungry to do that, honestly. I don't have the patience. Like maybe I can make my cheesy zoodles. 
It's pretty fast. Mm, 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 mm. Honestly, I need to make these anyways before they go bad, so this is probably a good time to do it. Also, I'm eating these garlic stuffed olives while I cook this because yum. I struggle every time to get this damn container open. One time, I opened it and everything flew everywhere and then all my noodles were on the ground. Why do they make it so difficult? Ugh. Like I really can't get into this. I can't do it. Ah, did it. I did it. Okay, so I'm gonna let these cook down and then we will add the rest of the stuff. Rest of the stuff is garlic, heavy cream, cheese, and another cheese. This looks so good. I'm so happy I decided to make this. I throw the zucchini on the pan, let that cook down a little bit, and then I add garlic and heavy cream and then as much cheese as I feel. And it becomes this like cheesy, creamy sauce. And then I seasoned it with some Cajun seasoning and salt and pepper. And we're gonna try it when it cools down a little bit because it's really hot. All right, quick taste test, and then I'm putting on the show and I'm gonna relax while I eat this and then I'll get back to work. Mmm, this is delicious. You can't go wrong. You just can't. Okay, I'm putting on friends. <laughs> Sorry guys, it is 10.48. I have just now gotten into bed. I'm not even like in bed, I'm just on my bed right now. I finished up work like an hour ago, and then I did this thing. Apparently today, the 21st, when I'm filming this, there was this like big astrological event. My mom and I, the other day, we bought these smudge sticks, and so I decided I would just like, you know, try to take part in this fun astrological event from what I've read and seen on TikTok. It brings change and growth and whatever intentions you put into place on this day, they happen at like a crazy rate. I don't know, I just, why not? So I found this, this playlist on Spotify, Manifesting Frequencies. Listen to how chill this is. It's so relaxing. So I put this on and I just got really zen. I got like so chill. And I was like, okay, like I'm gonna use my little stick today. My mom used hers earlier because I told her about today and told her to use her stick. And I just walked around my apartment with this little stick, speaking my intentions out into the universe. And then afterwards, I just felt so chill and at peace that I just wrote down my goals. Now I'm here. And I made my tea as I do every night, sprayed my pillows with my Bath and Body Works sleep spray, put on my cute pajamas, and I'm ready to call it on today. I've been working for so many hours and I'm just so happy to be in my cozy bed at the end of the day. It was a very productive and successful day and I'm ready to get cozy and relax. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlogmas video. I cannot believe there's only two more days left. The last two days will be filmed live, so that means the day that you're watching it, it was filmed the day before. I love you guys. I'm going to end the vlog here and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.